Yeah. Item number um, five, an update from the Foothill De Anza Community College District. What I've been doing as mayor is that I've been asking different um, jurisdictions, different community groups to come on up to um, city council uh, meetings to tell us what's going on um, with the um, with them and how we can partnership stronger. And tonight we have two wonderful um, school district and I welcome the Foothill De Anza Community College District and I'll let you do your self introductions, please. Yes. I'm Bruce Swenson. I'm uh, president of the Foothill De Anza Board of Trustees. And with me is our vice president, Well, let introduce herself. Hi everyone, Pearl Chang. I'm a longtime Cupertino resident and uh, proud to know I think all, most all of you on the dais and served on the Cupertino School Board. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. Thank you. And Pearl and I are gonna make the, uh, a, a joint presentation to you tonight. Let me uh, inter briefly introduce your colleagues behind you. Yeah, exactly. That's what <laughs> <laughs> very, very important people. <laughs> yeah. Let me introduce the rest of our team here. First, our chancellor, uh, Dr. Linda Thor, and our um, uh, director of marketing and promote and uh, communication, Marissa Spedafor, and uh, our coordinator of communications, <laughs> Becky Bartendale, who is instrumental in helping prepare our presentation tonight. Welcome all. It's not detecting my display. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, I want to thank you all for inviting us, particularly the mayor who uh, initiated the uh, contact. And uh, I first met the mayor back in 2005 when I was on the campaign trail for my current position. And I consider him a close friend and uh, a good colleague since those days. Thank you. Um, Foothill and De Anza Colleges together serve about 62,000 students a year, which makes our district the largest source of higher education in Silicon Valley. Just picture 62,000 students. De Anza is particularly active in the Fremont Union High School District, offering workshops, placement testing, and orientation right on the high school campuses every year. The college also sent personal invitations to the families of all graduating seniors in the Fremont District, inviting them to attend annual student parents' open houses. In a typical year, 25 to 30 percent of graduates from Fremont Union District High Schools enroll at Foothill or De Anza Colleges the fall after they graduate. So we serve a large number of your students. Of course, we also serve many local residents who graduated some time ago and are looking to refresh their skills. Just as last year, I'm proud to report that Foothill De Anza is still the top district in California for UC transfer. I'm sure many Cupertino students have contributed to that ranking. For almost 50 years, our colleges, particularly De Anza, have been stepping stones to higher education for thousands of students from Cupertino. This year, nearly 200 students from the Fremont District got better acquainted with Foothill College at its summer STEM camp. Uh, many of you know STEM is science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Our summer STEM camp focusing on real world challenges in STEM. The free camp targets students who are un underrepresented in STEM fields <laughs> and is funded by community and corporate donations. The California Community College's focus on student success has led to a number of new statewide initiatives I'd like to tell you about. Last year, our system launched the Student Success Scorecard, a statewide website that lets the public see how every community college in California is doing. The scorecard shows completion and persistence rates as well as college's effectiveness in getting students through remedial and career technical courses. News stories have singled out De Anza for its success with underprepared students. The scorecard also shows that students who are prepared for college succeed at a much higher rate than those who are unprepared. And this really motivates us to work with the local high schools to make sure their students prepared. No problem with Fremont Union District. <laughs> the scorecard shows that both Foothill and De Anza have highly successful education programs. California Community Colleges graduated the first students this year under a new streamlined transfer program with a Cal State University, 
It's called the Associate Degree for Transfer, or ADT. <laughs> These transfer degrees make it much easier for community college students to determine which classes they need for CSU transfer. While you don't need an ADT to transfer, getting one guarantees admission to at least one CSU campus with standing as a junior, which saves time and money. The ADT also gives students priority consideration at their local CSU and in their major. If you follow the news in recent years, you know that gaining CSU admission is harder than it used to be, and that having an admission guarantee has great value to students. One of the significant statewide developments is something our Chancellor Linda Thor has been working toward for the last 20 years. It's called the Community College Baccalaureate, and 22 states already have it. Legislation pending in Sacramento would allow California community colleges to award, award certain types of bachelor's degrees. Under a pilot program, up to 15 community college districts could offer one bachelor's degree in a career technical field not offered by local UCs and CSUs. The likely candidates for bachelor's degree in our district are automotive, automotive technology at De Anza, and dental hygiene or respiratory therapy at Foothill. After many amendments, the Community College Baccalaureate Bill, SB 850, has cleared most major legislative committees and appears headed for approval. Allowing community colleges to offer baccalaureate degrees would open a door for students who don't have the means or opportunity to leave home to continue their education. I'd like to continue our update, and I hope you're enjoying it. We enjoyed putting this together for our community leaders and community residents. Our district is playing an important role in setting the standard for online education in California. Late last year, Foothill De Anza was selected to lead the state's online education initiative for community colleges, the OEI. Working with another district, we will develop the online education initiative over the next four years with $57 million in state funding. The ultimate goal is to significantly increase the number of degrees and certificates being awarded by community colleges to help meet California's workforce needs. The OEI will create a single electronic gateway where Californians can access high quality online community college courses with 24-7 support services to help students succeed. This initiative will enable online students anywhere in California to earn credits toward an associate degree for transfer from any of the state's 112 community colleges that choose to participate. The OEI will include training for faculty on how to teach effectively online and provide instructors with real-time data to assess how well their students are learning and where they are struggling. We think this initiative has great potential to help California close its persistent achievement and opportunity gaps, so we're very delighted to be one of the co-leaders in the state. Also coming along nicely is our project to develop a new education center at the decommissioned Onizuka Air Force Station in Sunnyvale. We spent the last year preparing the site for construction. You perhaps have seen a lot of the construction work underway, including carefully, carefully dismantling the blue cube. Now we expect to start construction in the spring, so you'll see a whole other set of activity underway very soon. Mission College in Santa Clara is partnering with Foothill and De Anza to create this regional workforce training center. Based on the strengths of the colleges and the needs of Silicon Valley employers, we're looking at workforce development programs under four broad headings. Healthcare, business, child development, and information and computer technology. The center will prepare students to go directly into the workforce and for university transfer. We think these programs and the location in the Moffett Business Park will provide students with great opportunities for internships and externships. We also plan to offer contract training for local employers. Now with 50 years of shared history, Cupertino and De Anza are definitely intertwined and connected. 
Many of our faculty, staff, and administrators live here, and there is definitely a strong sense of community connection. I'd like to touch on just some of the ways that we're connected. In the 1940s, a public school teacher named Audrey, Audrey Edna Butcher was teaching grammar in what would eventually become Cupertino. She was horrified, though, when her students and neighbors of Japanese descent were detained in internment camps after the outbreak of World War II. Years later, she joined the board of the California History Center at De Anza College. And after her death last year, her daughter, Margaret Butcher, gave the California History Center a very substantial gift to honor her mother. These funds will be used to sustain the California History Center's ongoing operations and establish the Audrey Edna Butcher Civil Liberties Education Initiative, focusing on the protect protection of civil liberties. The California History Center also is collaborating with the Cupertino Library and Cupertino Historical Society to mark the 10th anniversary of the wonderful library here with a very special exhibit in October, part of what you heard uh, the group discuss. At a Taste of History fundraiser at De Anza last fall, the California History Center celebrated the challenges and accomplishments of Cupertino's mayors, some of whom are shown here, Orrin Mahoney, who was mayor at the time, gave a presentation on Cupertino and the mayoral history, and that was a lot of fun. Orrin serves on the board of directors of our Foothill De Anza Foundation and co-chairs the De Anza Commission, on which Mayor Gilbert Wong also serves. Thank you to both of you for your service to Foothill De Anza. We're also grateful to the other Cupertino residents who serve on the De Anza Commission and for the six scholarships that the Cupertino Rotary Endowment awards annually to workforce students at De Anza. We're pleased that De Anza's auto tech program was certified this year as one of Cupertino's green businesses, and now we're working to have the entire De Anza campus certified as green. We're also proud that students in the auto tech club have collected more than 50 tons of food over the past 15 years for the West Valley Community Services, prompting Cupertino to honor the club with a Crest Award this year. Thank you for that. We very much appreciate the wonderful synergy between the city and the Euphrat Museum, and we thank you for your generous support of the museum's programs. Offering after school and recess art programs for Cupertino school children has helped sustain the museum and deepened our relationship with the community. Cupertino's nature preserves and watersheds serve as extensions of our classrooms. Thousands of De Anza students have learned about flora and fauna and the importance of local watersheds at McClellan Ranch. Here, De Anza students from Elizabeth McParton's biology class work on a grant-funded project to remove an invasive thistle and restore native habitat in the meadow at McClellan Ranch. De Anza students took measurements in the meadow to create a baseline for the thistle invasion, and students in an honors class performed statistical analyses to show the change over time as thistles are removed. De Anza students also helped to pull out the thistles <laughs> for extra credit. Pretty good. I know, say that five times. <laughs> Through this project, students have an opportunity to practice real science and contribute data to a project of importance to the community, so truly laboratory in the field. These are wonderful, wonderful opportunities for our students, for our residents. We hope there will be new opportunities to continue to partner with you. Perhaps we can work together to find ways that the Visual and Performing Arts Center at De Anza can be promoted as a community venue and other some such things. Thank you for your time and interest this evening, and we'd be happy to answer any questions. Thank you. And you have five wonderful board trustees, which are um, Joan Bren, Betsy Bechtel, Laura Casas, Pearl Chang, and Bruce Swenson. And I'll say thank you very much to President Swenson and Vice President uh, Chang for coming here, as well as Chancellor uh, Thor. Um, really on behalf of uh, Oren, who helped instrumental uh, this, that both and I, that for working with the city of Cupertino, to our Chancellor Thor's office and Marissa, for uh, communicating this to the board of trustee, uh, college board of trustees for working with City of Cupertino on our festivals. Uh, I know that 
budget times are very tight. Uh, we sponsor a couple of um, citywide um, festivals, and we really enjoy the partnership of the parking that we got, that grandfathering in a couple of our um, festivals, and we're very happy to work at the staff level and, of course, with the blessing of the um, five trustees for working with the city of Cupertino because we value um, De Anza College. So thank you very much. Any questions or comments for the Foothill De Anza? Um, Mark? Just one, Pearl, perhaps you can explain for anybody in the audience who doesn't know what it is, what the blue cube is, and why you're being so careful about dismantling it. <laughs> a long history at the blue cube under the auspice of the Air Force, where they did a lot of satellite work. And so it's a historical, in, in a lot of our uh, local uh, perspective, it's a historical site. So for that reason, the decommissioning was, was um, very intentional, but again, very, very intentional on our part to honor and respect that history. Rod? And you mentioned uh, possible collaboration on the theater for community to use. Do you see that as a, a feasible arrangement we might uh, be able to make in the next few months? Uh, Are there community why groups not. that We'd wanted love to, to work come with you on something, uh, okay. something like that, certainly. Yeah. Absolutely. We're working, as you probably know, on our Civic Center master plan, and we have to consider if these grounds might be a spot for community theater or other ven you know, a venue, or if we're better off partnering with you in some way, but I think there's demand for more performing arts in our city, and we'd like to somehow make uh, that I think possible. we'd certainly like to partner with you uh, to provide that uh, service to the community. Especially for the arts, to grow the arts. Yeah. Absolutely. Super, thank you. Sure. Barry? So, oh, go ahead. I, I would like to <clears throat> follow up with the Council, um, Vice Mayor Singh's point of view. Um, when we work together, can we get a better, a little bit better discount for the Cupertino? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Discount on what, Barry? <laughs> Cheaper price for our race then. But if not possible. It's Thank already re already a great value, Barry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Orn? Yeah, I sh so I should know this. The, the, the new campus over in Sunnyvale area, is that going to be part of one of these existing campuses, or is it going to be treated as a s standalone? It's, uh, it's not going to be standalone. It's going to be primarily run by Foothill, but with lots of De Anza involvement. Okay. Uh, but the administration will come out of the Foothill campus. Okay. Thanks. Again, that was a very thorough uh, presentation. Uh, please send our warm regards to Dr. Uh, Murphy, and we enjoy the partnership between the district and De Anza College. Right. And good luck on your, um, your new, your, not your new campus, but your ex extended facilities. Right. That's and one great. thing I should mention is uh, President Murphy would have been here tonight, except he was on a much needed vacation, along with Vice President uh, Christina Espinoza-Peeb. Espinoza Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, say hello. Thank you. Thank you.